It's the Gear Tester here, and welcome to my review of the Solomon X Ultra 3 Mid GTX Lightweight Hiking Shoes. Here are the Solomon X Ultras in all their glory. They look pretty good, don't they? And uh, there are a number of different colorations you can get these different shoes in. They've got what appear to be good soles to me. And these happen to be made in India. Okay? Before I go over things I like and don't like about the Solomon X Ultra, I want to talk a little bit about my personal experience and interaction with Solomon, the brand, okay, the, the, the company that manufactures these shoes. Four and a half years ago, I purchased these shoes. These are the Solomon Quest 4D GTX boots. So these are GTX stands for having Gore-Tex. So these are Solomon uh, Quest 4D boots. And uh, Solomon continues to make a, a pair of these or a very similar pair of these boots. So four and a half years ago, I purchased these and was extremely happy with them. They actually were lighter and more flexible than some of the shoes I was wearing uh, prior to this. And I've used and abused these shoes and I love them. They're great. They're great, great shoes and I really like them. Uh, but because my experience was so positive with these, I wanted a more like a tennis shoe, a lighter weight shoe for doing things like running and, and just in a situation where I don't want to wear, even though these are very lightweight, these uh, Solomon Quest 4D GTX boots are very lightweight. I wanted something a little bit lighter, um, not as high in the ankle. So. I went out about three and a half years ago and I purchased these shoes. These are the uh, Solomon X Ultra GTX. Okay, Solomon X Ultra GTX. I just want to make one little point here uh, of clarification as I continue this review. The uh, Solomon X Ultra uh, shoes that I'm talking about that have the lime green accents are actually Solomon X Ultra 2 mid GTX shoes. They're no longer in production. You can't get them as far as I know. This video is about the Solomon X Ultra 3 mid GTX and those are the current production model that you can currently buy and order. The Solomon X Ultra 3 mid. All right, and so I refer to them for simplicity as the X Ultras, uh, just kind of generically, but I do want you to understand that point of clarification. The Quest 4D GTX and these, these shoes are all made in Vietnam, okay, and that's going to be important uh, as we move through this review. Love these shoes. You can see there's some paint spots on them. I started wearing these out. Started wearing these more running. I was wearing these every day, but as they started to get beaten up, okay, coming apart a little bit, I transferred these to being work shoes in terms of like mowing the lawn or uh, going jogging. I actually ended up running kind of a little mud run obstacle course with some friends in these, and it was great. They held up well, and I continue to use them even though they're pretty beat up. So about two years ago, I purchased these, okay? These are the Solomon XA Pro. Okay, Solomon XA Pro, I've been very happy with them. They were my first experience with these little, little pull system, the lacing system that's different than a standard uh, lace that you tie. Uh, they've worked really well. I've been really surprised with how well these have held up. And I, would, I will and have purchased additional shoes that have this system from Solomon. I love them. Uh, these are also Made in Vietnam. I don't know if you can see that label, but these also are made in Vietnam and I really like them. Their soles have held up well. Uh, they're very flexible. They tore out a little bit here and here. So I, I got online and started looking and more recently I purchased this pair of shoes from Solomon and these happen to be the XA Force and they're a beefed up version of the XA Pro. Okay, so they, they did, they used a stiffer material here. They seem to have reinforced a little bit more here. They have less pieces, so it's more of a solid piece, which I think is going to lead to less breakage. But I wore these every day for over a, a year and a half, almost two years, and they held up really well. So I've been very, very happy with these shoes. These, uh, 
the XA Force happened to be made in, you guessed it, Vietnam as well. So, I wanted to get a pair of shoes that would approximate these. I liked having the standard laces and I wanted a pair of shoes that would approximate these, but it appears that Solomon has discontinued this particular style and brand. And these happen to be the Solomon X Ultra GTX. So I thought to myself, I want to replace these particular shoes. Why don't I just buy the, the similar name that uh, Solomon is marketing? Because there's been some changes and some things, but I've always liked Solomon's shoes and they've always fit the same. So they seem to be using the same basic footbed um, geometry. So whether it's these or the bigger hiking boots or the um, XA Pros or the XA Forces, they all fit my feet the same and are equally comfortable. So I figured, hey, this has worked okay for the last four or five years, me just buying shoes off the internet once I figured out which size I, I liked. Uh, so I can buy uh, these shoes. So I purchased, and this is where we come to the review on these, X Ultra. So we have the X Ultra and the X Ultra. Okay? They look very similar. The styling is very similar. It looks like the construction is very similar. Okay? Um, we have metal little grommets or little eyelets that you can anchor off to here and here, but they've used some webbing here instead of the metal there. But you, know, you can get by with some of those things. So I went to put these shoes on. Okay, these new current production Solomon X Ultras. And I went to put these on and I put them on and as I put them on, I noticed a very strange smell. I smelled them as I put them on and they smelled like Payless shoes. They smelled like cheap rubber as I put them on my feet. And when I got them on my feet, okay, I don't know if you can see this, but they are thinner. I put them on and could I wear these shoes? Probably, but they do not have the same fit and feel as these older Solomon shoes. So they are not fitting the same. I have this funny smell and as I touch the laces, and I don't know how well this is gonna show up on the camera, as I touch the laces, the laces felt cheap. So I've already got that cheap Payless shoe bargain brand smell. I mean like it, it's the smell you smell when you walk into a Payless shoes. They're not pretending what the, to be anything they're not. They're, they're, you know, they're cheaper, available shoes and there's nothing wrong with that. And I touch these laces and these are, the stitching and the thread is quite large. And then I, I grab this pair and you can see the laces are, I don't know how well you can see, I'll try and take some pictures here, but the, the size of the stitching on these, these older Solomon X Ultras, the size of the stitching is much higher quality, okay? It's, it's more fibers, it's stronger, and it's more flexible, and it's more, less, much less likely to get caught on stuff and tear out because these are bigger fibers. So I thought, wow, I've got this cheap smell in these new X Ultras. They're not, they're not the same size, Okay, and it may not be totally clear that, but they are, they are thinner over here. The overall footbed is thinner. They've got a weird smell. They've got cheap laces. What in the world is going on here? And then <laughs> I looked here and I, I, I realized all of a sudden what's, what changed. These are made in India. And I started looking more closely now at the material. And I, this material here on the tongue of the shoe is, again, just like the laces, it's bigger in terms of the, the mesh. It's cheaper, okay? It's, it's not the same quality. You can feel this and you can feel this. They are not, this is, this is much more silky, uh, smoother, and this is just more coarse. Crazy. So I'm going to be sending these X Ultras back, okay? I, I ended up going to a local REI store and actually walking through and looking at some of their men and women in shoes. My wife was thinking about getting a pair and she looked at some, some shoes. I can't remember the precise brand, but they had the little zip closure here. And the first pair was a little too small and those were made in Vietnam. And then they brought us out uh, the same exact model, same exact coloration, and they had that Payless shoe store smell and uh, they were made in India, but they seem to be a little bit better production. They seem to be the, the zipper pulled ones, okay, this different closure. They seem to be making them better, higher quality in India than they're making these X Ultras. And I just think they cut corners on them. So I'm gonna be sending these X Ultras back and I won't be purchasing 
another pair of X Ultra from Solomon until I see that the quality production level is back up to the way uh, they were with the ones being manufactured in Vietnam. My fear is that Solomon has moved their production from Vietnam to India and that we're going to see a dip in the quality of their products. Um, and that makes me really, really sad. I don't care where the shoes are made. Okay, uh, I, would, I would ultimately like uh, more of the things that I buy and use for my day-to-day -day life to be made in the country in which I live, which is the USA. But I don't mind buying products from foreign countries. And I don't care whether these shoes are made in China or Vietnam or Japan or India. What I care is that the quality level is the same. And if you look on the outside of these shoes, the quality level seems to be. But when you put them on your feet, when you actually start looking at the quality of the laces, they're cutting corners and they're trying to increase their profit margin. Um, and, and they're the same price, if not more expensive, than those other X Ultras that I purchased about three and a half years ago. They've cut corners and they, instead of having metal grommets here that the lace goes through, now they're just these. That's planned obsolescence. If you run the lace through that over and over again, it's going to tear out eventually, okay? These are not going to tear out. This is better and this is more expensive to make, okay? And I get that, but I don't, I don't really care. You know, you're looking at, when you think about all the shoes I bought, you're looking at clearly over $1,000 worth of shoes. I don't mind a, a $40 or $50 jump if the quality stays the same. I get uh, that companies are trying to increase their profit margin and stay relevant and continue to make money so that they can pay their employees and pay the individuals that have invested in their company. I don't have a problem with that. I don't have a problem with capitalism. I have a problem with buying products and finding out that they're of lower quality than I've become accustomed to, okay? If we look at these, Solomon's gone to the work of making sure that there is a little plastic grommet. Well, not grommet. A little plastic tube that is attached there so that when you slide it through, it does not cut out the webbing there. If, if, if that was not there, it would cut right through. They know that that would take place here. I think they imagine that it's not going to be as, as often on and off and there's not going to be as much wear here. But that's going to wear out. So I dislike that. I dislike the... And I wish... I paid attention to that. I probably would not have bought these shoes if I had noticed, but I just hopped on. I just Googled X Ultra from Amazon Prime, found them in my size and purchased them because I've had such good results with uh, Solomon. So if you're thinking about purchasing the uh, current production Solomon X uh, Ultra Gore-Tex shoes, I would say avoid them. I don't think they're as good a quality and that I'm certainly uh, not nearly as satisfied as I have been with uh, Solomon shoes in the past. The uh, XA Forces and some of those other ones I think are great and ultimately you're going to have to go and try them on and see how they work out for you, how they feel on your feet if you're happy with the quality. If you like this video and found it useful or helpful, I would encourage you to subscribe to my channel. Smash the like button. If you subscribe, make sure to click the notification bell. Thank you very much for your views and your subscriptions. My goal here at the Gear Tester YouTube channel is to produce quality video reviews on the topics of shooting, camping, and survival gear. This is the Gear Tester, signing off.